Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are going to go over to a new place that I didn't show you before the first time we are here in the Lost Woods. And it is the Lost Woods actually. I keep saying Lost Woods and that is a pretty bad habit. <laughs> over here are some vines you can climb up. And down this road here, well not so much a road as it is a pathway, you'll see this right here. It's a sign! Yeah, the Lost Woods. <laughs> and this is where we're going to find Saria once again. And we need to find her first. I cannot stress that enough. Because you can't progress through the game without her. Now, you have to follow the tune of her songs. But you'll notice that you can go through other paths. But sometimes if you take a wrong path... It boots you right back out to Kokiri Forest. <laughs> so, what you want to do to find Saria easily on this uh, multi-path area here, is listen for the music. See how the music is louder down this path than it was in the other two paths? Oh yeah, that's how you find your way through it. And over here, you're going to want to shoot the very middle of this thing three times. That's not the right spot. There we go. And... It's a Deku Scrub. And there's a spark still left over on that target. Why, thank you! It actually wasn't that hard since I just don't have to touch the control stick after I find the middle spot. And I get... Another seed bag upgrade. This is the second and last upgrade for your Deku Seeds bullet bag in the entire game. So that's pretty much all you have to do right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, there's a thingy down here I just remembered. I wonder if I can do this right now or not. If you stand on top of the stump, some skull kids should appear. There you go. And whip out your ocarina. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead you into it. Now, this is a game like Simon Says. And, uh-oh, I just realized that I'm really low on camera battery power. All right, totally different recording day this time. <laughs> yeah, I had to charge up the camera, so I'm doing this on a totally different day. As I was saying with this uh, little mini game here, you can cheat this thing just a little bit by writing down what they tell you to do, basically. It's a game of Simon Says, and that's how you can easily win it, by simply writing down the notes that they tell you. So, here we go! And then you simply repeat those notes. Oh, for some reason I decided to use the control stick rather than the uh, uh, C stick. I have no idea why. And yes, I would like to try that mini game again. And their notes are different each time they do it. So it doesn't really matter if I show this or not. It'll just waste more time than not. So I think I'm just going to cut ahead. Oh, that was it for the first one? Uh, ah, I see. So I can keep going until I get more prizes. So I might as well just cut to each one of them, I guess. Uh, it goes one note higher for each one, so let's continue. I just remembered that. <laughs> Next prize for six notes is... A blue rupee. Curses! That's eight notes, and... Your prize for doing this is... Woo! A piece of heart! Okay, now let's go directly to Saria. That's all we have to do over here. It was fun playing with those skull kids. Well, not really. <laughs> That's actually kind of an annoying minigame unless you write that stuff down. Anyway, as I said before earlier in the part that I had to look back through in the footage because this is a totally different day. 
pay attention to all, oh, not the owl. Well, I guess you should pay attention to the owl here, but I mean pay attention to where the sounds of her uh, ocarina playing are. So yeah, what I'm going to look for is the Sacred Forest Meadow where he's describing, yeah, I've played this game before, I know. <sighs> I would love to shush you, actually, Mr. K. Por Gabor, and uh, no, no, I hate that the default selection is always yes to, to, you know, to have him repeat himself. So if you're, like, randomly clicking through with your buttons, you're just going to be like, oops, I made him repeat his stuff. Oh, and I should also mention, pay attention to how you're getting through this forest as well, because uh, once you meet up with Saria, she won't be playing your song anymore, and that's kind of a problem. I think, actually, this is the correct path over here. Navi, what do you want? You told me this before! Anyway, <laughs> so through here is next. You'll notice that there's no map as well. Uh, listen closely. This way. Sounds good to me. This way. Okay. It's not that hard to do, you just have to listen. It sounds like I'm supposed to go that way. Yep, that is the case. Sacred Forest Meadow, here we are! Whip out your sword and get ready. It's a Walfos! It's an extremely easy enemy, actually. I, I don't even know why I took a hit there. I was just thinking to myself how easy it was. Just put up your shield and attack it when it attacks itself. That's really all that you have to do, and there's no reason that I took a hit whatsoever. Now, in this area, the, the camera pans to an upward area here for a reason. There's these weird... Uh, Deku, like, scrub... I think they're Deku scrubs. Oh, they're mad scrubs. Well, they're a form of the Deku scrub family. All you have to do is get past them. But, oops, I wanted to just put up my shield, but whatever. I'm confusing my L with my R buttons, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> there really isn't anything for you to... Ow, get over here, so don't even worry about it. Once you get close enough to them, they'll go back into the ground, and you won't really have to worry about them. And look at that, we're here already. Wasn't that quick? Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid you guys because I don't really feel like wasting time deflecting your bullets back at you like the other Deku scrubs. And... This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. Well, the main area of the Sacred Forest Meadow. Pretty. Yeah, it looks like she's got another ocarina herself. You know what? Uh, never mind what I said there. I already hinted that she did it earlier. Ah! Forgetting my own commentary is fail. I knew you were, because you're hot for me. That's why I had to run a little earlier. No, I mean, never mind, never mind. It's a prophecy. So, yeah. You get the idea. Yeah, I would love to play my ocarina with you. That sounds like fun. That I am. Yep, it's a song we've been hearing this whole time, which is awkward to play quickly with the C stick. <laughs> so, not bad. Woo! And we need that song to progress through the game, so that's why I had to come here for first before going to Kakariko Village. So I thought, why even bother going there until I get the thing, you know? <laughs> and it also serves as a way that you can talk to Syria anytime that you want to. Though she's not very helpful in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, that's another song crossed off our list. And I'll, I'll talk with you, what the heck. That's all? Oh, okay, fine, fine, whatever. <laughs> Uh, this thing right here, uh, I'll explain more what these things are later, but as of now, just remember them, okay? Now, on our way back through the Sacred Forest Meadow, normally I would just cut ahead, but I would like to show you something on the way back here. Ow! <laughs> 
And it doesn't matter that I'm taking any hits anyway, because this is exactly what I'm going to be showing you here. On your way back, you're going to see this ladder, and I'll drop down here. There's a hole. Drop down here, and... Fairy Fountain! Oh, it's so pretty! Such cute little fairies fluttering around. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. Uh, I'm going to drink out my Lon Lon milk here. I made a mistake in the last part. They recover five hearts instead of four. And I'm just going to just gonna drink it all up now. This is what the bottles are handy for, is holding things in them. And you can hold practically anything inside them, including... Woo! Uh, whenever you die, a fairy will actually bring you back to life. So it's like having an extra life, so you don't have to, like, uh, backtrack or anything back to the area that you died at or something like that. So it's always great to have a fairy in your bottle. And you can also collect a load of these fairies to recover your health as well. So that's the handiness of fairy fountains, so to speak. And that's just one of many fairy fountains in this game. Now, let's show you a neato way how to get out of the Sacred Forest Meadow without having to deal with those dang mad scrubs. Yep, you can just hop yourself right across these gaps here. And sure enough, you're right back at the Lost Woods. Now, what I'm going to be doing next is exiting this Lost Woods area per- No! Why must you interrupt me? I was going to say interrupt- interrupt curses now you screwed me up all over the place is leave the forest purposefully like have it warp me back to Kokiri forest so I can go to a different area and get myself a heart piece and an upgrade you'll see when I get there it's just easier to just take the shortcut back to Kokiri uh, village or Kokiri forest excuse me rather than no no please dear lord no and I know I've said that before. Why? Why? Why do you talk so much, Mr. Owl? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? And this should take me out, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Now let's go back in. Yeah. Now go to your left. There we go. And you'll see the Skull Kid here. And what you want to do is target them, and you can check them if you want to. Oh, that sounds like a pretty bad fate of him, I have to say. But what you want to do is pull out your ocarina here and do this. Play Saria song. Ah, uh, so ridiculously catchy. Yes, I do. I just learned it like a minute ago. <laughs> and you get a piece of heart. Uh, this guy also has something else for you later if you come back with something else, but I won't be doing this until I do the quest that has that something else. In the meantime, I'm going to go down here, and here's a patch of soil, may I add, that we'll be back to later with beans and whatnot. Just thought I would uh, make note of that right away. Also make sure you bring a bug over there. Uh, that also reminds me, back in an earlier part I said that if you plant beans before you... Um, uh, add a bug into one of those holes, you won't be able to get the Skull Tula. Well, that is actually not the case. I was misled, dang it. So you can get those Skull Tulas anytime, even after planting beans. Anyway, what you want to do is deflect the bullet after this. After, I mean, after this guy, you know, deflect it against this guy, excuse me. And he'll give you a Deku Stick upgrade. Yes, I would love that upgrade. And now I can carry 20 of them. So that's quite nice, I have to say, and now I'm going to be leaving the forest for now. I, there isn't anything else I can do here until I get to Kakariko as well as get uh, the... Th well, actually, three... Yeah, three items I'll need in this forest to 100% it. So I won't be back here for quite a while. So anyway, I think I'm going to end this part off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next parts.